All right, so today we're going pheasant hunting um, with the family. We got grandma, grandpa, my mom and dad, um, Sam, and then we got Jaden in the back seat with us. <laughs> what you think, buddy? Um, so we're going to a hunt club today. We got my puppy Harley. I haven't really been training her for pheasants. I'm more focused on training her to be a shed dog, but we're kind of just going to see what she's got and then we got my parents dog Tucker um, he's he's a really good pheasant dog he knows what he's doing so this will brush his skills up and then we might do kind of like a puppy hunt we might like let Harley chase around a clip wing bird or um, like get her used to the center and then plant a bird for her to just for her to see the process I don't know exactly what we'll do yet we'll talk to the guy at the club but um more or less, we're just going out to have some fun, get some exercise, um, sharpen Tucker up, and then hopefully get Harley. It's kind of just throwing her into the mix of things and seeing if she's got a knack for it. Like I said, if she, if she does, I'll spend some time with her on it, but I don't pheasant hunt enough to dedicate a whole bunch of time towards that. I'd much rather um, spend my time working on shed hunting, and I think I'm even going to try to get her to uh, be a game recovery dog as well. So. We're headed out here, we got probably 15 minutes to go, and then uh, we're gonna stop in the clubhouse, talk to all the guys, and then uh, figure out a plan from there. Alright, whoa! So, we got a, a training bird here, we're gonna let it go and let Harley take after it just to get her excited and uh, see how she does. So, you ready, Harley? Ready? Get Get it! Get it, Harley. Good job, Good Harley. Girl. Good girl. Get it, Harley. Good, Good girl. girl Harley. Bring it here. Good girl. Bring it here. Good girl. Bring it here. Good girl. That's good, Zach. I'm not scared. It's good to see you. No, that's what you want. Good Just girl. Bring it here. I'm not scared. Figuring out how to get it in your mouth. That's it. Poor Todd. Get it, Harley. Bring it here. Come on. Bring it here, Harley. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, Harley. Fetch. Bring it here. Oh, good girl. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, Harley. Bring it here. Bring it here. Harley, fetch. Fetch. There you go. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Oh, yeah. Come on, bring oh, it here. Oh, yeah. Bring it Beautiful. Here. Bring it here. Fetch. 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 She's like, what do I get? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Bring it here, Harley. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good girl. No. Mom. All right, so grab your gun. my main focus here is to do uh, some filming. I'm not going to do too much shooting, so you're going to have to watch Sam and Dad miss a bunch, and then maybe once they miss a few, I'll uh, grab the gun. But we got Jane and Harley, Sammy, and then Grandma and Grandpa over there and Tucker. So Harley did okay for her first one. Well, uh, She's excited. We'll see how she does. Tell them we'll find all kinds of them. Why aren't you hunting, little girl? Why aren't you hunting? Go on. What you got, Tuck? Hunt him up, Tuck. Go on. Point. Get ready, Sam. So Sam, oh for two, huh? So I was taking a leak, so I missed a shot. But Dad just, Dad just knocked on a rooster. He put a really good shot on it. That bird was running and running and running, and finally Tucker got it up. So he's out there trying to get it right now. So hopefully we can boy, film the retrieve Tuck. at least. Good boy. Good boy, Tuck. Come on. <laughs> Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, okay, okay. They had broke his wing and that bird was just running all over. So I'll get 
Good shot, Dad. He got it. Yep, he's got it. He got it. He got it. Yeah. Harley, Harley, come on. No. Good boy, Tucker. I probably would miss that. I'm just saying. I'll never know. But mom, you did take a shot today. I know, I didn't hurt my shoulder at all. <laughs> go hunt, little girl. Go on, go hunt. Good. Alright, so we ended the hunt. We, we uh, towards the end, I kind of just decided to put the camera away. We ended up only shooting two birds out of the air. And then this is the training bird that we put out for uh, Harley. So we actually didn't even shoot this one so we ended up with three birds total two that we actually shot but um it was a it was a tough day the birds were really running um we were in those tall cattails it was hard to keep up and film over the top of them so i want to show how one of the ways that i like to um, clean these birds so that we can eat them um there's lots of different ways to do this obviously what i'm going to do today is i'm just going to breast this bird out because i'm going to cook this for my wife and uh for Jaden. and one of the best ways to make um, pheasant for someone who's not real used to eating wild game is I like to just breast it out, cut the breast up into small pieces um, and deep fry it into like pheasant nuggets. Um, there's different ways you can pluck the whole bird and put it in a slow cooker and peel all the meat off and put it into a, like a pheasant pot pie or something like that but um, there's a way that I like to do this. Uh, it usually works pretty good. I know that once I get the camera out it's not going to work for me but I'm going to give it a try. I'm gonna put this bird down, step on its wings, and then pull its legs up, and that should just peel um, the breast out, and we'll get a real good look at the breast, and then I'll be able to take the meat off of the breast, um, the breast bone. So I'm gonna give that a try here real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bird down on its back and spread its wings out. I'm trying to see if I got my camera here. Um, put its tail down. Step on both of his wings as close to the breast as you can. Then you grab its feet and just pull up. There you go. That removes all of the guts from the bird. And then there you got um, a nice clean breast that you can take the meat off of. And um, yeah, you just pull the rest of this out. All the guts come off. So I'm going to set that on my tailgate and get to work on that. All right. So right here we got this heart. Um, I'm pretty much anything I kill, I like to uh, eat the heart on it. So we'll throw this in there as well. Um, you can see the liver still attached to it. So I'm just gonna set this down and cut the top part off, um, so that all that's left is a nice meaty part of the heart. All right. So now. The way to make this easier is if you have a shears, you can clip the wings off so that all you're dealing with is the breast, but um, I don't have those here. So what we're looking for now is right here, you can see this is the breast bone. And what you're going to want to do is run your blade along each side of the breast bone and just sort of fillet the meat off of uh, the breast bone so that you have two nice big pieces of meat. Just run your knife along this uh, bottom side here. Get as much meat as you can. And you'll see right here, this would be like what a ch uh, chicken tender is. It It's this piece that runs close to the inside of the backbone. Um, you're going to want to get that off of, um, with the breast meat. And it, it can stay attached to the breast or you can cut it off and I'll cook that up separately. So there's one side there, we're going to take that into the kitchen, clean it up, and then there's that uh, tender I was talking about. You can kind of see um, it's separate from the breast bones, or from the um, breast meat. You just cut that seam right there, and then you got a nice uh, pheasant tender. 
And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Alright, so there's the other side. Um, when we get this in the kitchen, um, we're going to cut all of this off. Um, all of the meat that's been damaged and whatnot. Clean it up with some water. and then... Alright, so I washed this meat off. Um, I took all the pieces that had a little bit of trauma on it. But wait, so now what I'm going to do, um, just to prep it for when I cook it, I'm going to cut these, cut these tenders in half, just into pieces about, I don't know, a little bit bigger than a um, silver dollar, nice nugget sized pieces. Got the heart there, it's all cleaned up. I'm going to cut these into little nugget sized pieces as well, you cook, cut them as big as you want, but um, I like trying to keep them all the same size so they cook somewhat evenly in the grease. Alright, so I got these all cut up, like I said, just into uh, nugget sized pieces like that. Um, and like I said, if you're not planning on cookies, cooking these um, in the couple days after you shot it, um, I always put them in a food saver um, bag, but I'm just going to throw them in a Ziploc, get them in the fridge, then I'm going to make some pheasant nuggets in a day or two here. Alright, so it's been a couple days. We had um, Jaden's birthday party at the Tundra Lodge. We're back tonight, so we're going to cook up the uh, pheasant nuggets that we have. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we have our little... Uh, deep fryer here, so I'm going to have Jaden pour in our grease. Why don't you start with this one here. Alright, so we got our grease going. Um, we're going to get that up to 350 degrees. Alright, so while that grease is warming up, um, what we're going to use today, we got Shake and Bake Original, and then in that I'm going to put some Johnny's Hunter's Blend um, for egg wash, just a couple eggs in the bowl and then obviously our uh, pheasant nuggets that we're going to get going here so that's what we need alright so um, we've got three eggs in here we're just going to add a little bit of milk so we got our eggs and milk for our egg wash our shake and bake and then our hot grease Alright, so Jane's helping his mom in the other room. Um, I'm going to put some of our, our grease is hot enough now, so I'm going to put some of our um, pheasant nuggets. I'm going to get it in the egg wash. Just about half of it there. We only got one birthday, so it's not that much meat. Um, dip them around in the egg wash, get them uh, plenty wet, and then throw them over in your shake and bake with the Johnny Hunter's blend. Mix them around so they get plenty of that on them. We're gonna lift our uh, pan up, throw them right in the pan. Dip that in the grease. That'll go for a couple minutes. You know they're done when they uh, start floating. If you're not sure, you can pull one out, cut it in half, um, and make sure it's cooked all the way through. But usually, once it starts floating, then it's done. All right. So these are about done. I'm gonna take them out, let them cool off for a bit, and then we're gonna have Jane give them a taste test. Huh? What do you think? I haven't tried it yet. Think it's good? 